When I grew up, my life wasn't incredibly easy. My mother worked all the time. My real father was out of the picture. I really had to learn on my own how to hold myself up. Photography is one of those things that I used as a, a vehicle for self-expression because I felt in my heart that I was an artist. I like tintypes because it's not just something simple. You have to set it up and you have to be really physical with it. You can't just click. You're basically making a photo on a piece of metal. You're exposing it, developing it, and fixing it all right then and there. Tintypes were the first photos to be available to the masses for portraiture. They reached their popularity around the Civil War. These images of soldiers, sometimes these are the last images that their friends and families would ever see of these individuals alive. I'm Ed Drew. I'm in the California Air National Guard as an aerial gunner on search and rescue helicopters. And I'm also a photographer. The whole idea to do tintypes came from the fact that I was going to Afghanistan and I wanted to record the people who I work with in, in the most humanistic way possible. I really wanted to focus on this brotherhood I belong to, these combat rescue individuals. I would do tintypes in between missions. Sometimes while I was doing a tintype, I would get called on a combat mission, so I would literally have to drop everything and immediately sprint out to the aircraft to do my job. According to my research, they were the first tintypes since the Civil War done in a combat zone. This is my co-pilot. My tintypes for Afghanistan were about the timelessness of war, how it's followed us since civilization began and it will continue to follow us. My purpose is not to glorify anything, it's to celebrate people because we're all essentially just human. It's usually cloudy out here, right? When I came back from my deployment, I was a little frustrated because I had purpose over there. I got back and I kind of had to fill that void. How I did that was I had this very specific idea that I was going to use my art to show the beauty of people. I wonder if the hoe would be a better tool. Jess, I got the special job for you. My name is Catherine Sneed and I am the director of the Garden Project. We need some more stinky nettles. If it touches your skin, you're going to get a rash. The core of our work at the Garden Project is helping young people to learn how to work so that they have a way of supporting themselves. What we've done is created an organic farm that feeds thousands of people in San Francisco. The young people that work with us every day are the people who live in areas of the city where there's a lot of crime, a lot of poverty. They managed to overcome all that. They are understanding that they have a future. Like right about there. Yeah, that's perfect. The reason I chose these young adults is because they're making something of themselves. They're going to college, but they're also earning money here. I thought this was a great place to focus on and, and not necessarily negative stereotypes that, that follow African-American adults. How's that? Most people don't like standing that still for that long. All right. I wanted to capture them in tintype to show other people that they're not what you think they are. Tell me about yourself, man. <laughs> well, me, honestly, I'll go to school right now. So I'm taking business classes. And on my free time, I write music. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Rap, hip-hop, what do you, what do? You, do? Uh, you know, I do it all. <laughs> I like to hear his story. It's not just about me taking a photo and walking away. It's also, hey, well, what do you like to do? The ease in which he feels around me is what's going to make a really strong portrait. Check it out. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> hey, you like it? Yeah. Good, good. I'm glad. Yeah, we're going to do it. 
This is where you gotta be a statue, man. Tintypes are really reflective. They're a really slow process. I think tintypes have a really good way of evoking people's humanity. All right, you're good. They're exposing themselves. The kind of photography that Ed is doing with us is particularly meaningful because it has that historical reference. After the experience of slavery, many folks have said, oh, gardening isn't for me. And I think that Ed's taking pictures of us, it, using this older way, it's come full circle. The garden is now a place that can uplift and not just hold you down. And hopefully his pictures can depict that in a way that touches people to help them see it. I think the imperfections of tintypes is what I really enjoy. And I think it's a great analogy for life. Life is not perfect, whether they have a little speck on them or a little streak of silver that just kind of went awry. You accept the image just like you accept the person.